Thank you. If you want to make your way to your seats, we're not going to start right away, so you can find your way to your seats. Um, wanted to make sure that you knew about a couple things coming up. I already mentioned the Custom Ink fundraiser with the cool new swag from PJCE, so you know about that. The next performance that we have as a group, the Portland Jazz Composers Ensemble, is at the Montevilla Jazz Festival, September 1st, which is a Friday, and it's at the Mount Tabor Caldera Amphitheater. And yeah, yeah. And uh, it, it, the title of that program is Views of an Urban Volcano. It's community-inspired and influenced work, and uh, we have three composers composing uh, a whole hour plus of new jazz music for, inspired by Mount Tabor in the community. Uh, two of those composers are in this ensemble right now. We have James Powers. Yeah, James Powers is one of the composers, as well as Cyrus Nabapur. And the next two pieces that you're going to hear are from those two gentlemen. Um, the third composer for the Views of an Urban Volcano is Kirsten Volness. And uh, I'm not sure if she's here, so you don't have to clap, because she's not here. <laughs> uh, she might be on the live stream, you might want to clap. <laughs> Executive Director Douglas Dietrich, who planned this concert, and what, how great is it going? It's going so great. Good job, Douglas. In the way back, great to see you, Douglas. All right, so um, I was supposed to mention something else, but I forget. So let's let, let's play some music. Um, the next piece is by James Powers, uh, and the poetry is by his friend, collaborator, friend of the PJCE, David Barber. David Barber. I saw lightning in the fireplace. I said, look, Mom, lightning. She said, baby, that's called fire. I looked back and I saw fire.
who banished that boy? The one who ate lightning with his little eyes. A strawberry milk mustache and an evening tornado that turned the air green. I am the ghost that haunts that body. I am the ghost that haunts that body that ate a jagged stone with its skull. A symbolic explosion into awareness. Two years from the womb. Wounds on the outer child hardly loom, but rather float off down the time stream through which we roll, roll, roll. Eight years from the womb, and the same eight bathed in brute-like indoctrination. Poison confused as passion, passed on from ancestor to kin, cherished as life. Oh, the cyclical transference of secret trauma. Oh, bless the day it was delivered from the shadows by an archaic tongue. One who whispers urgent news of dissolution and divinity. She says, death cannot hurt you, it is safe. Damnation does not await you, it does not. An upbringing of being brought down, I see you. Cry on me, aches and boy, I can be yourself and your mother. Precious child, primed to live within ideology, guilt and rut, diminished and hot with mania. Wounds on inner children or architecture of the psyche into shapes like broken hips and turmoil. The time stream once rode through turned to a hot street limped on by bare feet. his little heart. Thank them kindly for the culturally primed panic. Forget that we are the lineage of angels and aliens and stoned monkeys. Remember to be yourself and remember to be yourself the way you've been told to be. Recite sanctioned small mouth mottos so the gates of eternity stay good and goddamn open. Good and goddamn open only every inner eye. You are light and you are harmony. Peel back your heart, abolish your mind. You need not repent for being born. The all loving mother of us did not bear you into a crisis. The all loving mother of us bore you to stand tall as your naked self and your inner child at once. The all-loving mother bore you to expand upwards, outwards, and rootwards like a big fucking tree that naps tenaciously in a sound and perpendicular shavasana.
Anise, you are allowed to be wrong, allowed to change your mind, to change yourself, for being alive is not necessarily about unfolding yourself, to know all your corners that you might steer your path correctly. There is not one true chart through the storm, there is only the way through the storm, however which way it happens. Just as the only way across the field, over the mountains, through the streets, into your own heart and into the hearts of others, is the way that is taken, in that there are many ways. There is an expanse we are inside of, crossing. whether one steps through it or simply sits. So figuring out how to cross the expanse is not the task at hand. There is only the crossing that happens. What is before you to choose is what the direction is you wish to take, Anise. What is your desire? What are your wants? What do you wish to share with another? What do you want to offer up to them? figure out. And the figuring is best done by the doing.
have already seen, but it is not. This truth is the same for us too. What part of our shoulder is only just now becoming known to us, even while always seen in our periphery? What slip of our mouth is being discovered of taste for the first time after a lifetime of eating? What parabola of our psyche is finding new points to slope connections towards utterance of God? What curve to our waxing, waning heart is only just now feeling touch, like ankles stepping into the floor of the sea at low tide, revealing all that always was there, a bellow of bigger than three letters, they that are as wide as they are tall. What truths of ourselves have always been here, great jester of light, swallowing juggler of space, time lone weaver weaving in many directions. What truths of ours have always been just waiting for us to always find new parts to ourselves. The moon in its illumination is drawing back the ocean like it were a curtain in her pulling of her love to come closer to her touch, her lover is laying bare. We always are forming and reforming and reforming. Thank you so much. Last round of applause, a uh, special round of applause for Anise Mojna. Yeah, um, just a, a quick round of thank yous. I wanted to thank Meg Morrow, our executive director, all of our board of directors. Uh, We are fortunate to get to work with the PJCE because we get to make cool new shit. And, <laughs> and I heard from some of you on the break that uh, that's the first time of you hearing about our organization. Um, if you would like to see organizations like this one keep doing cool new shit, please give us your money. Um, so, <laughs> or you don't have to give us your money. You can sign up for our email list, which is in the back. Um, you can also just do it on our website. Um, but the email list is very important for an organization like ours. I am happy to uh, play this last piece for you. Um, I uh, have been fortunate enough to work with this poet and composer before in the past. Um, the last piece will be uh, by Brian Smith on alto saxophone here. And that, and, uh, our poet is Matt Spawn. And uh, I have to switch guitars because uh, it's an acoustic thing, because Brian likes uh, strummy acoustic chords, so I'm very close right here. I'll say to switch to 
real honor to be up here tonight with all these amazing artists. But um, it's really special because Mar and I have been friends for 30 years. And uh, this guy is pretty rad. Um, we always continue to argue about when we met. Um, and I just realized over there, he always said 10, I said 8, but I realized we're a year and a half apart. And so it sort of makes a difference why. <laughs> But I'm really psyched to be up here with him. So, we found some of the Here you ask 
holding everything that comes next. And I nod, watching how we become a shimmering among darkness, how we become verbs like love and ache and hope, the unimaginable paradise made from every molecule in our bodies, having been passed through the soil billions of times. Plate tectonics, molten rock, all the alien worlds this earth thinks up, and suddenly this father son can be true.
Thank you. We're going to see you again September 1st. See you there.